so my van all underneath the driver's seat here is all wet and it wasn't wet when I had my mat here so there's no water on there but underneath it is I don't know where it's coming from no idea now I watched a video uh, by do you know when you're carrying a brick in your hand yet and you see cars coming in that direction and they're thinking what the, what the hell is she doing <laughs> yes i'm vlogging I, I haven't got that confidence levels yet where i'm like freely just walking along in a crowd doing my vlogging thing without being conscious of what other people are thinking about i haven't got to that stage yet but i've been watching this i've got to stop here because there's cars coming that way uh i've been watching a youtube video by Harold, oh geez, let's get the name right, eh? Bald and uh, bankrupt. I've been watching his videos. I'm getting distracted by everybody else. Bald and bankrupt. And he is such a brilliant YouTuber on his adventures. I reckon he's a bit like me, really. You know, just has to go off the beaten track and discover new places and taking a vlog at the same time with his zany sense of humour. I mean, I'm not as crazy as him, but... I think I'm nearly there. <laughs> I need to invest in a good tripod for my very expensive phone because the two that I've ordered in the past, I put the, they've just fallen apart. So I don't have that faith in them. The, the cheaper ones, I mean, they're only like 10 quid and they were from Amazon. So I need to get something which is a bit more sturdier and a mini iPod, which I can just put into my pocket and also a case which is fully armoured all the way around because at the moment I'm using one of those wallet cases where you got to unplug it and take it off so it's a lot of fluff um, so if anyone could suggest good ones not obviously not in the the high-end expensive I mean I've seen some tripods that are going for like a hundred quid this no way am I going to spend that kind of money on that but if anyone can suggest a good mini iPod and a fully armoured a uh, phone case for a Samsung Note 10 Plus. I'll be very grateful. So we've come to Stony Stratford for the annual Christmas lights turning on. There's already loads of people walking down. Oh, this is probably the first night it's in its minus degrees. Pretty cold, so I've got that out. But um, it's going to get even colder, I think. So walking along this is a street full of houses that are full of character. Fox and hands. Actually beautiful. So we've got lovely little shops like this. Stony Stratford, I must say, is pretty amazing. We've got a little sweet shop. Oh, it feels so Christmassy already. Art galleries. The lights will not come on yet. Oh my god, it's so beautiful over here. Nice pubs. Look at this shop here. But they've got the lantern parade happening over there. So there's the lantern parade going through. How lovely everything. How cool, you can hear the bells chiming away as the lights have been turned on. I'm telling you, Stony Stratford is a fantastic uh, Christmas light festival. Definitely worth coming over here. You've got all the, um, the quintessential English timber clad buildings all lit up. And this, and the market square. It's actually superb. We've got it all going on, a little fairground in the middle of the street. Look at that. Got to do the cat cross, haven't we? It's going to get for the kids. Stopped over at the uh, cafe to get a hot chocolate with the cream marshmallows in there and the candy floss. So, stood outside with my hot chocolate, some 
absorbing the whole Christmas atmosphere in. You really feel Christmassy now, and it's only like three centigrade, so it's not too cold. And I think we're going to head over in that direction a little bit more, see what they've got. And look what we've come across. How beautiful is that? Just painted on the side of a building. So we're entering into a yard just to see what's going on in the courtyard over here. Because I just love places like this. Oh, it's looking very promising. So Dale's yard. What we've got going on. Let's have a look. Oh, they must have had some stalls out here at one point. They've got sheepskin and bugs on their chairs and stuff to sit outside. How lovely. So a little sweet shop on this side. And we've got a little courtyard. I think all the shops are shut here now. Mm. Having a look at a few things. But yeah, we're going to leave now. Everyone's sort of dissipating back to their homes. And it's still only like three centigrade at the moment. So we're going to walk back to the car and go to McDonald's because that's where the kiddies want to go. I'll come into my van because it needs a good tidy up. I'm going to remove all the duvets and everything, uh, bring them indoors because I don't want any mould growing. And because I had a wet patch on the driver's floor there, I've got the fan heater going to dry that up. So I just opened the doors of the van. Uh, to get some air circulating in here and get it prepped up for winter. So I'm going to remove all this bedding over here and bring it indoors and give it a good old wash. Right, I'm just checking out how much water is in my demodifier in here. Let's have a look. Hmm, quite a fair bit. So I'm going to empty that, redry it and put it, pop it back into its case. Let's check how much is in this front one. Ooh, quite a bit of water. I'm going to have to empty that. So I've got her all tidied up, taken all the duvets and everything, just put in my electric sleeping blanket. Got the heater going on, the electric fan heater, to dry the carpet off down there. So all the doors are open, get the air circulating a little bit. So I went and ordered some screen protectors for my Note 10 Plus, a case which is meant to be armoured ready and a selfie stick. So I'm going to open them up. So I've got this Spigen armoured phone case for my phone, it's quite flexible and uh, this is like nearly enough 20 quid but it hasn't got a front guard screen protection on there so i ordered these films and it comes with the card or well, dust removing pad and this liquid which i've absolutely got no idea what this is for but the best bit is this selfie stick uh, which has a uh, right let's show you one-handed this is a difficult bit, but the phone clips into here. These extend out like so. You've got a Bluetooth mechanism there, so you can hold the phone like that, yeah? Uh, look like a total pleb. And then this extends out which I would be able to do if I had two hands but I haven't I'll just show you well I've got my new toy which is a selfie stick which has got a Bluetooth remote control button on the actual handle which is a game changer really and having a selfie stick is it's a different experience when it comes to vlogging I must say and this one extends out so I can put you further away so you've got more of a panoramic kind of view 
or what's going on around me. I'm still not confident that I'm going to be able to hold this in the public, walk along, talking to a camera on the end of a long stick. I think that's where the GoPros, the action cameras, which are that diddy, are probably a bit more useful for when it comes to doing um, shots like this in the public. I have been looking and they're about 300 quid for the GoPro 8s, uh, which have the 4K camera, so it's all, all brilliant stuff. But my phone, the, the Note 10 Plus, is also 4K. It does a slow-mo. It's perfect in every way, to be honest, but it's just a brick shape. <laughs> That's the only thing. Um, but this selfie stick was probably about nine pounds from Amazon and it's doing the job absolutely fantastic and I can bring you in and it fits in my pocket the whole stand so I don't really have to take the actual camera off it I can just keep it on all the time so yeah I'm very happy very happy with it so to be honest <coughs> I think I would probably prefer to get an action camera because of the size of it. I think all round might be better suited for what I do, especially going to public places rather than putting a thousand pound phone at the end of a stick and having it nicked or damaged or falling off the stand. But I am loving this so far and it's made me more aware of what I need. Now I've been looking at the DJ Osmo action cameras which have a little uh, display at the front of the camera so it's like a selfie uh, front facing camera so you can see yourself, you can position yourself in the right place and they're about £250 which is not bad compared to the GoPros which are about three, four hundred quid and they don't have the front camera where you can see yourself. So, maybe I will buy myself a little present. It gets heavy on the arm, I must admit. I'm holding it on one arm. So, it's a good old workout for sure. But, I'm actually enjoying this. You get a different perspective, don't you? going it up and down it so uh, just imagine if I was on the top of a mountain how amazing it would look if I did a panoramic kind of a view God, yeah, get me out there oh I can switch it off from here I'm not exactly sure where the leak from the windscreen which is causing the problem on the uh, floorboard on underneath the driver's well is coming from I don't know if you, any of you can spot it. I need my selfie stick. I guess it might be somewhere from around here. I can't reach. So I'm off to see my mechanics today and this is what I can do with my selfie stick. I just love this little contraption. Um, I want him, I just want to let him know that I've got a leak somewhere and it's all coming under here but I won't see him till after Christmas because I've got no money <laughs> um, but I always like to go and say hi and have a little chat with him anyway so I've come back to Flair, I saw the mechanic and I said to him maybe after Christmas he can look at where the leak's coming from, he seems to think it's coming from around the windscreen seal and uh, while I was out, I bought myself some mats. Well, mermaid swim here and the pink one. Obviously, I'll reorganise it. But I also bought myself a new case. I think I got done actually scammed 15 quid for a bit of plastic that goes all the way around. But it's good for the selfie stick because I can, uh, it, all of it, 360 degree cover. 